So what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert. This is your first time tuning in. So as promised, I'm giving you guys constant updates on the home building, um, constant updates on the garden for the Airbnb, and constant uh, videos on unconventional side hustles. So today, we're giving you guys an update on the house. How's it going? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and just kind of walk and talk um, about everything that's, that's going on and that has gone on to get to where we are today. Um, but if I can ask for you guys for a quick favor, if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, that definitely helps me out um, as a creator and it definitely helps out the channel um, so that we, this video can reach more people um, who are maybe interested in um, educating themselves on how the whole home building process kind of comes about. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we have the house already kind of laid out. Uh, they brought in a bunch of dirt and built it up in the back and some of the low spots like right here I know that there was a low spot here. And I know that there was a low spot over here Right in this corner. There's a little low spot. So it looks like they already they already put some dirt in here and kind of built everything up But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and Just kind of get a big overview of what it all looks like right now. So right off the bat, I noticed that they did put a water spigot over there. So we're going to go look at that. Yeah, it's probably for them just to be able to, uh, probably has water, yes. Be able to wash their hands and get some water to drink and all that. This is going to be your septic line. It looks like they used um, three inch over here. And then they have a main that's probably about six inches. So yeah, pretty cool how they got it all set up. They did do the bricks. I see a lot of people that just put little rocks. Um, a lot of, um, of uh, people that do the reborn stuff like that, I see that they just use rocks sometimes. But I'm glad that they use bricks, so that's good. Everything is, so I'm not a, a developer, but I have done a lot of work like this in my, in my short lived life. I used to work in construction and all that. So I like to see things done, you know, as close to, um, as close to, I guess, professional as possible. Um, but that can't always be the case. There are, you know, everyone does take shortcuts in this in this industry, but you know, there's some things that you just don't want to take shortcuts on, which foundation is one thing definitely don't want to take shortcuts on. Yeah, everything looks uh, pretty good. They tied everything in and they got everything trenched around the ends, down the middle and then cross sections. So we're going to go ahead and continue walking around So, yeah, everything looks good. This is gonna be the porch right here. This is gonna be the little porch. It's nothing, nothing crazy. It's just to give it a little bit of curb appeal. But uh, yeah, looks like they used three quarter inch rebar and then half inch all the way on top. And yeah, everything is staked down. They even put the bricks underneath the rebar, so that's good. All the platforms are already up and in place. So this is day, it was day three, four, five, six, we're about on day seven right now. So this is about seven days of work right now out here. Uh, this isn't seven consistent days every single day, uh, but it's just seven total days, just so you guys get an idea. But uh, yeah, everything's looking good. Everything's trenched in here. Which it looks like they trenched it probably with like a little backhoe or something. And they built this up a little bit more. Which is just all the dirt. Good, they even got it trenched right here. Down the middle and then they got the, the deeper trenches here on the bottom. But yeah, it's looking good. Really happy with it. Looks really, really good. This is going to be for the kitchen. That's probably for the one of the restrooms, one of the restrooms. And then the vanities, showers. So yeah, everything's looking really, really good. It's coming along, you know, it's moving along pretty quickly. We'll come around on this side. Yep, everything looks good.
and then this is gonna be so we made a little modification on this so we did make a modification and that was for um, putting a back door because it wasn't gonna have a back door and then also to add the water heater in the back so those are the only two modifications that we made for this um, so it looks like this is what the platform is coming out for because you can see where the platform is right there it would go straight this way but it kind of pops out and then pops out again right here so that's probably what those two are for um, I, mean, I guess I'm pretty sure that's what it's for we've got all the sewer lines in here as well everything's already tied in so yeah they already got everything tied in so that's good so so far so good guys it's looking really really good I am liking it guys, I am liking it. And then next is just to start throwing in concrete. So this is good. I'll probably get a couple of photos with my phone so that way I can get a thumbnail out of this. But um, yeah, everything looks good. You can kind of tell where everything's at. You know, the, the shower restroom over here, another shower restroom over there, kitchen. And there's no plumbing on this end here. Extra materials, extra stakes. This stuff is pretty thick-ish. Yeah. But yeah, guys. This is the whole... The beginning, really. Uh, this is just the beginning of it. Give you guys a quick little look. But, alrighty guys, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update on the home. I know you guys are keeping up with it and interested in what's going on and what's happening. Um, so, there it is. That's where we are at today. We're on day seven. Um, seven of about another three more months, four more months of work. So, still got a long ways to go. Um, again, probably another 60 to 80 days, 90 days left at least of solid work before we have a full completed house. But uh, yeah, this is where we're at today. And a total of about 100, I mean 100, 850 square feet. Um, so I'm actually going to go make another YouTube video for my other channel. Go do some little fishing. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe guys. Until next time. Stay blessed, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless. See you guys later. Bye-bye.